Welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today we've got the AHA Honey palette that I bought. I'm wearing yellow because you know we're gonna get matchy matchy up in this game. I'm really bad at doing live swatches on myself. Sorry, I love doing that to palettes. So I, I actually was playing around and I've been doing, I bought some swatch stickers so I'll put a picture of them up somewhere and you can see what they look like. This palette's sort of going around everywhere on social media and I was super keen to give it a play. I think I'm probably only ever going to do one video on this. I learnt after the Blue Moon palette. You just can't do that many looks with monochrome palettes and you will burn yourself out. So I'm just going to put the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre on my eyes. So my collab with two of my beautiful friends Lisa and Annette just went up this morning for me and wow like thank you so much. The comments have been so lovely on that video and just thank you to everyone who came over from Annette and Lisa's channel and thank you to all of my subscribers who've been here for like a long time. <laughs> just really means a lot to me. Alright so I don't know where this is going to lead us but I'm keen. I'm keen to play with this palette. Alright so I'm going to go into a buzzkill. Now this palette does have the controversial glitter in the middle. You can see I already messed it up by swatching it. I don't know. I feel like I try and show you guys like eyeshadows that look messy to me, but they don't look messy on the camera. I do think it's funny that this had like a bee theme and like Queen Bee, Buzzkill, there's no black. I don't know, that was an odd choice. And is there a honey? No, how am I called honey? very weird. I don't know. I just, I bought this palette because everyone's talking about, I don't know, I have such a problem sometimes. And it is very pretty. I do love the yellow. They're just got the orange, yeah, what is it? Orange, the orange monochrome palette. It looks hilarious. And I'm definitely keen to pick it up. I really want to try those blotted crayon sticks they've got out. I actually love the Colourpop blotted lip formula. And they used to have a really good one in the stick ones. I still have some of them. Yeah. Yeah. They look like these. And they don't sell them anymore. But this formula is just really nice. It's a nice light colour for work. And I'm hoping that the crayons are like maybe an improved formula. But I've made a little deal with myself. That I have to sit down and film with all my palettes before I can buy anything else. Except like the Sydney Grace Co. Christmas in July sales gotten me a little bit. And I think I'm gonna go on a sweet spot. Just clean that brush off a little bit. And I'm just gonna sort of bring it up here above the crease. I might as well put it right now. Alright, so without cleaning the brush off, I'm just gonna pat this a little bit more in these edges just to deepen it up. Um, all of my flat packing brushes are out of commission right now. They're all being dry. So I'm kind of feeling dandy. Like is this a flower inspired or is it bee inspired? Oh damn that's a beautiful sh shimmer. Oh my god. I was expecting it to be more muted. Well, let's see what we can do with that crease. I'm going to go back in with Buzzkill and just bring that line a bit more definition. And then going into Sunburst. It's like a green gold duo cream. Yeah, I think it is. That's amazing and it is beautiful and I love it. So which one is this? This is my Super Beauty 350. That's such a beautiful little brush. For going in for the inner corner. And let's do a little bit of OB hate. CB themed. I kind of wish it was a bit more like cohesive in the theming. Theming. Uh, I just think they would have done well to 
like either have a black and make it all bees or go all dandelion. I know it's like such a silly thing to like care about, but that's what I care about today. Interesting. Alright, I feel like it just needs like uh just wear the Mac paint pot up here. I'm gonna put stinger. Just this one. And just try and like bring it a little bit up here. See what happens. Yeah. let me go finish my eyes and I shall return. All right, so I've got hip, long comb, hypnose, doll eyes, NYX, epic liner, and ColourPop, dirty talk, in the waterline. Here's the final look. I felt like it really needed liner, and I know my wings aren't even. Oh, but they're pretty well hidden, so that's nice. So I like that it just gives a bit more darkening to the look that brown just as soon as I open my eyes because my eyes are so like uh, pretty hooded that brown just completely disappears and it's just a pure yellow look that color dandy and sunburst the shimmers in here are my favorite I think they're really lovely but yeah I think everything I've seen about this palette is on point so here is the final look in completion uh, let me know if you picked up the Aha uh -huh Honey palette. Did I just buy this and film this because I wanted to say Aha uh -huh Honey? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited. I don't know. I'm glad I had it. I'm glad I had to play with it. It's probably definitely not a palette I would recommend on any level. Just the blend, like the buildability wasn't there. It blended all right. The shimmers are the standouts for me. And as always, ColourPop's affordable, so... If it's something that you want, get it. The glitter shade is a bit of a like a shady, shady thing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.